Life has never been the same for Rohingya activist Zafa Ahmad Abdul Ghani and his family. Ever since a social media post in April 2020 falsely claimed that he had demanded Malaysian citizenship for refugees. This sparked a wave of hate speech and death threats against the family of five. Two years on, the fake news continues to haunt Zafa, his wife Maslina Abu Hassan, and their three children. The family lives in constant fear, a feeling they are reminded of with each new death threat or hate message. Zafa, who heads Myanmar Ethnic Rohingya Human Rights Organization Malaysia, has barely left his home. On one occasion, the family's car tires were slashed. Maslina, a Malaysian, is at her wit's end, telling FMT the pressure is indescribable. It's very tough on me. Because I have to replace him as a caretaker of the family. There is no words to describe the emotional pressure, the financial pressure that we have. Because we lost our livelihood because of the fake news, the false accusation against him. Maslina said her children still panic when they hear vehicles outside their house and have nightmares about people trying to kidnap them. I can't expect, I mean, how their future will look like, you know, because it's, it, the fake news, the false accusation is damages us as individuals as well as, as a family unit. I want the people out there to understand to feel that if you are in my place, your children are also targeted. How do you react? How do you feel? You continue your life happily and you not even know how we struggle here, what my children feel. How do we cope? Maslina pointed out that her eldest son is struggling the most as compared to her other three children and that she's also struggling to handle them while taking care of Zafa. I'm trying my best to do everything is possible for his protection, you know, and I hope that the responsible parties to his protection, you know, will do something about it. Zafa said although the death threats have decreased, he is still traumatised by the entire episode and added that he was recently threatened last month on the phone. I still also uh, eat medicine, got eat medicine. I be try, I become strong again. I lost everything. I cannot control my own mentality and my heart, my feeling. This man was also still living in the fear. This year also, I cannot forward what family need, what I have responsibility as a family. As husband, as fathers, I do not can, I cannot forward. When asked what steps he has taken to overcome his situation, Zafa said he can only pray to God and hope for the best. Zafa, who is registered with the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, said he has applied for resettlement in a third country but has not received updates from the agency. He at last sent a letter to the agency last month. Still, they, they cannot respond to the uh, positive. Uh, maybe UNICEF may, this time maybe, I, I believe UNICEF this time also. Uh, hope, I hope UNICEF be uh, maybe process, making uh, uh, far away, may near, I don't know. When UNICEF, UNICEF can anytime, anytime can, they, they want to do anything we can do. Zafar said he hoped UNHCR and the Malaysian government will collaborate to help with the resettlement process for him and his family on an urgent basis in order for him to get on with his life, get a better job and continue his advocacy for Myanmar. Samuel Chua, FMT News.